Hey guys, what's up? I am Ninji. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the first encounter of the new Vow of the Disciple raid, which is called Acquisition. So before we jump straight into the mechanics and jobs of this encounter, I want to show you guys a quick map of the room. So here is what the arena looks like, and unfortunately I have no idea who actually made this map because someone posted it in my Discord and they didn't know where it came from. <laughs> so if you made this, it's awesome. Thank you. So first things first, you're going to want to memorize all the different locations. So all the different rooms with symbols ab above them. So if you see on the map, the very first one is called Enter, which is right where you come out. Then to your left, you have Give. And then to the left of that, you have Grieve. And then Stop, Knowledge, Drink, Commune, Kill, Worship. So those are the rooms that you should memorize. And before I move on, I actually want to explain where the names of these symbols are coming from. So here is a image of all the names. And these are all official Bungie names. And if you're curious where they come from, in the previous room of the raid, it shows all the symbols in like their own little area. And when you go up to the symbol, uh, underneath your mini map, it says the name. So that's where the names are coming from. In the middle of the room, you will notice on the left side, a pyramid. And on the right side, the traveler. These are here to indicate the left and right side of the room. You will also want to memorize the taken night spawns, which are five on the left and five on the right. On the map, those are indicated by the taken symbols. Now, let's jump into everybody's jobs. So, this encounter has two jobs. You have half of your team killing enemies and protecting the obelisk, and then you have your other half of your team who are runners. Now, you do not have to split it up perfectly three and three if you want to have more people protecting and only a few runners, like only one or two. You can do that. It'll just be a little bit slower, but there's two jobs. There's ad clearers and runners, and that is it. Now, your ad clearers literally are just killing enemies and protecting your obelisk from being shot at. Your runners are running around and finding a symbol. So there are a total of three symbols that have to be found basically one per side and you your end goal is to use these symbols to complete one of the obelisks so now let's do a complete run through of an entire phase so on each side you have an obelisk to defend and you also have a tower with three blank spots for symbols when the encounter first starts one side's tower will get one of two symbols either pyramid or traveler this is telling you that a knight has spawned up and is on a specific side of the arena again pyramid is the left side of the arena and traveler is the right side of the arena so at this point everybody is finding this knight and killing it after the knight has been killed the side that had the symbol will now get its next symbol which is one of those rooms all around the arena and now that side needs to send its runner into that room once your runner is in the room, your teammate will have to now read the last symbol on your tower. Again, you will have one of two symbols. You will either have light or dark. This indicates which taken captain your runner needs to kill and which symbol to memorize. If it reads light, that means that your runner has to kill the left scorn captain and memorize the symbol that pops up. If it's dark, right one and memorize the right one that pops up. But you only have to kill one and you only have to memorize one symbol. You can kill both. It doesn't hurt anything. There's just no, you don't have to. Each side has to do this and should be doing it around the same time as each other. After everyone has gotten all three symbols and memorized them or written them down, you will all now look at your own obelisk and see if you have all three symbols. If you have all three, you will need to activate all three of them by shooting them. And you will want to do this at the same time because they only stay lit up for a few seconds. If done correctly, it will say an obelisk accepts your offering. That means you have finished the first phase and just have to repeat all the steps before two more times. Now, once an obelisk has been completed, it won't have to be completed again. So what I mean by that is, you know, you memorize all three of your symbols and then one of the three teams see sees that they have all three of them. So again, they shoot all three and then it says, you know, an obelisk has accepted your offering. 
Now, that side is done. I don't mean done from add clear and protecting. You still have to do that. But once you get your three memorized again, it can no longer be that one. So it's an elimination process, right? So you'll do one. You'll find the first one. And then after the first one's done, the next time you get to that phase, you will only have two sides to look at. And then obviously when you finish one more, then you'll only have one left. The very last one. And that is it. That is the entire first encounter. It is relatively easy. Uh, the biggest thing is just, you know, good communication. And, and honestly, the most important thing of this encounter is killing the knights relatively fast. Pretty much as soon as they come up. So you want somebody always looking at, you know, the tower on your side. See when you have a knight and then call out, you know, whether it's on the left or the right. And then you look at those five positions, find it, kill it, and repeat. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's helpful and good luck.